This is Coyote News. Coyote News has developing news on the Phi Delta Theta vandalism that occurred over the weekend. Police say the two suspects are current USD students, and they believe the students spray painted the house after being kicked out of a party. But the identities of the suspects will not be released at this time. As the Volant first reported on Sunday morning, Phi Delta fraternity members awoke to the words, we date rape, spray painted on the outside of their house. The case has been handed over to the South Dakota State Attorney's Office. And now Coyote News' Michaela Feldman is joined by Dean of Students Kim Grieve to discuss campus reaction to the vandalism. Michaela? Thanks, Kathleen. The words we date rape were spray painted on the outside of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity house on Sunday. The large yellow words on Phi Delta Theta have been removed. But Dean Grieve, when was the university first contacted and what were the initial reactions? Right, well, I think we were contacted fairly immediately. Um, they had called VPD, the Vermilion Police Department, and actually Laura Roof contacted me right away. And of course, the university was very upset that this had happened and wanted to get behind story. The Vermilion Police say the two students claim they were upset after being kicked out of a party. Does the university have plans to punish these students and what's the process? Right, so the students names have not been released at this time but once the students names are released they will go through um, our student code of conduct process. In a Yankton Press and Cohen article, SGA President Sammy Zoss says all Coyote students should take this incident personally. What effect do you think this vandalism has on both the Greek community and the campus? Yeah, you know, any time anything happens on our campus where there's a violation, we all do need to take it seriously. The vandalism is a problem, but, you know, sexual assaults are very much a problem, you know, something we need to look into. So any complaints that we ever receive, we immediately take them very seriously. We follow um, Board of Regents policy and we do an investigation the same way with all of them. Many Greek houses require their members to undergo alcohol and sexual assault training at the beginning of each academic year. Do you think this week's incident will change the number of students required to attend those sessions? Um, I'm not sure about that, but we will continue to have um, training for all students on campus as soon as they arrive on campus and throughout their tenure on campus. Thanks, Dean Grieve. You're welcome. Both men are USD students, and the case has been sent to the South Dakota State Attorney's Office. Live from the Muck, I'm Michaela Feldman.